Yeah, man, y'all know what it is, man. Zell Ma, man, you now watching Nola Zine TV. Unfelt. This verse possessed the curse to bring you where they burp me at. Harvey, the hardest hood. Scottsdale, the hardest set. Crack spots, crack kids, dope fiends, the hardest set. Set rules, no school, the block was bringing Fetty back. Took a note, not to tell. On the veil, I never read. Stash the burners in the chair. Mommy set the table at. Cops come and search the crib. Couldn't find a murder gap. Nigga be the murder rap. Block life, stay scrap. My life, no escape. Razor in the glass plate. Chopping up the last. Man, you know, man, I come from, you know, Harvey. You know, that's Harvey, Louisiana, just in case y'all don't know me. So they just did like a little doc about the Harvey Hustlers, you know what I'm saying? My background, the murder squad, and, you know, you know I don't want to say too much about that, but, you know, in the game that I grew up in, you know, I started rapping at seven. You know what I'm saying? I went to prison at 17, you know what I'm saying, for a murder charge. You know what I'm saying? I went back to prison for some guns and some drugs. Back to prison again after I got out from Navajo for some guns and some drugs. But I came, every time I was out, I was dealing with the music. I did the West Bank Cypher, I put that over there. You know what I'm saying? Because we needed something to what we could call our own. So, <clears throat> like my backstory, you know, it ain't really too much, you know what I'm saying? I could give you on the back end, but, you know, I really, you know what I'm saying? I really come from the streets, you know what I'm saying? I'm a street rapper, I'm a reality rapper, you know? And it's just a movement, you know, Hartford Empire Music Group, that's my label. That's what I represent. That's what I, you know what I'm saying, I put, that's my focal point. That's how I live, you know what I'm saying, it's a way of life. Rap beef and trolling. I mean, like I said, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, in an interview prior to this, uh, that I got a, a gym in a trap house with a DJ trap house, you know what I'm saying, trolling. You know what I'm saying, when you come from a street culture, and you come from the streets, you know, if you show somebody, man, you know, that could come from that. But I understand, you know, like 6 9 you know what I'm saying, that, you know, they can't pass. It's a dangerous thing, man. Children is just something that is it's, it's, it's dangerous. I wouldn't do it, you know what I'm saying, because if somebody trying to troll me, I know how I feel about it, you know what I'm saying? You know, but you know, I ain't going to speak too much into that. But I'm just saying, I just feel like that shouldn't be, you know, a part of the game. Like, trolling, that just, that's weak. They hide behind the internet and... Trolling it, man, to bring that to you, man. Just don't, like, you know what I'm saying? For the youngsters coming up, I don't think y'all need to be fucking with that trolling shit. That shit deadly. I read, um, you know, a 360 deal. You know, well, let me explain a little bit because a lot of people really probably don't understand what a 360 deal is. A 360 deal is when, you know, you sign to a label and, you know, you have the merchandise side of it. The label gets a percentage of that. You have the touring side, or concerts, they get a percentage of that. Or if you have an endorsement, they get a percentage of that. So, you know, it depends on the artist. Like, if you're a young artist and, you you know, so they're trying to sign you 360 deal, most likely going to be 10 years, whatever amount of, X amount of albums that they're trying to charge you for, what, you know, they feel like you can recoup back from what they loaned you, maybe the 2 million, maybe the 3 million or whatever. It's solely upon you if you feel like you can give them their money back, recoup that, and, you know, take the hit off the percentages that they got because they feel like, you know, they want to recoup their money back because the album sales, that's what they claim, the album sales slow and things of that nature, which, you know, the internet did fuck that up. But a 360 to me, if it came right, with the right, a lot of time, like, say, if you're giving me, like, three years, whatever, you know, I might take it, I might not. You know what I'm saying? It depends on how I feel because you, you do have to build a brand. And a major level label do offer visibility beyond our scope. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's the difference between Drake and other artists. You know, Drake has a budget. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you can have an album that's way harder than Drake. But by he on a certain label, not saying Drake have a 360, you know, I'm not saying that. But if he, by him on a certain label, by him on a major, and he have that, that machine behind him, you know what I'm saying? He actually has more visibility, which can generate more sales. You know, so, you know, a 360 is good and bad. It depends on what the contract states, because the contract protects 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 both parties so it depends on what the contract states and how it outlines and how long you stay the shorter period of time i'll fuck with it uh, well you know the mama society and mama rap that's what they call mama rap you know what i feel about you know mama rap me personally i'm into skill set bars originality you know what i'm saying you know we coming from you know new orleans we coming from 
you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm coming from the west side of that, you know what I'm saying, we always had a different type of vibe, a different set of originality rules, but you know what I'm saying, we still accustomed to that originality, like what I feel about artists trying to mimic the young boy and the Migos and different things of that nature, all those dudes are original, they have their own set patterns of styles, and how I feel about that, I mean, I feel like, you man, you know, so just let me say it once, I mean, you know, first thing, be original if you get your own style, nigga, feel your mo. and I, I know it's cliche, and I know nigga might use it a lot, but man, organicness, you know, nothing can beat something that's organic because it's come from the root and that's what the people respond to you know what I'm saying if you develop yourself as organic artists and you and you get an organic cult like following you know what I'm saying you have nothing but to rack in the dough that's just what it is man you feel what I'm saying so you know I ain't gonna shun the mama society and feel like with them this is what they doing because it's still art you know what I'm saying? It's still music, they still getting money. I ain't hating on the money, but I mean, I, I just rather, you know what I'm saying, young young artists that's coming up, you I mean y'all put a little more, you know what I'm saying, passion and love into y'all craft. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, gain love from the written word. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to, you know what I'm saying, use figurative language in y'all, you know what I'm saying, in y'all, you know, y'all approaching, master y'all deliveries, man, take it to a different level. But, you know, I'm proud of y'all and you know what I'm saying, in every aspect of what y'all do, but you know it is what it is. Well, one year from now, me personally, right now, you know what I'm saying, I'm developing myself, you know what I'm saying, as a as a as a brand ambassador. So I see myself, you know, dealing with brands and being a silent partner in a lot of different brands that I believe in. You know, like I'm a businessman, you know what I'm saying? My goal is to be a serial entrepreneur. So a serial entrepreneur is borderline a, a mogul. A serial entrepreneur is one who just got to keep on creating, keep on creating. So I see myself in the path of and fostering a lot of business ideas and bringing to life and manifesting a lot of ideas that people came to me with uh, I had on my own and bringing them to life into tangible form. So that's why I see myself, man, as a brand ambassador on a global level, international level, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I feel like, you know, a lot of artists in the city, you know, they, they them not coming together, I understand that a lot of different hoods, you know what I'm saying, you know, they had issues. You know, I ain't gonna speak about those issues, but a lot of different hoods in New Orleans, you know, on the west side, they got issues. So a lot of artists can't work with each other, and that's understood. But the artists that can work with each other, whether you got buzz or not, you know, don't be afraid to pay another artist, you know what I'm saying, for their work if you like their work. Don't be afraid to be a fan of an artist if you're on a local level. If you like them, you like them. That's what being real is about, you feel what I'm saying? But, you know, I feel like a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, as far as, like, featuring, you know, they, you know, a lot of artists fear me, like, you know, BTY, young, you know, young Jude, he was like a few of the artists that really actually came and was able to do it, you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of, a lot of other artists in my city that fear, you know, to get on the track with me because of my skill set, you feel what I'm saying? But, and I understand some of y'all might not collab with certain artists because of fear, y'all think that they better than y'all, so if I'm not on a feature with somebody, I understand that aspect of it, but, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to feature with somebody, you don't like the music, that's one thing, but if you like the music and you're afraid, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing. But I feel like man, we should come together because man, that 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 helps the infrastructure. We have an industry infrastructure, and our job is to develop a service, create new music, new energy to put out there for the fans. You know what I'm saying? If you make new music, you make money. You collab, you make new music, that makes money. So if we put a collab, you got a fan, but you got a fan, but we put that together, we put it out. That's how the majors do it. You know what I'm saying? That's how we make money. But I started rapping when, when Rest in Peace Thomas. I used to watch, you know, Thomas, you know I'm saying? He from Harvard. He had, you know, he drowned. He drowned trying to save his step you feel what I'm saying? He jumped into a little, a little late thing and it drowned him. I'm saying he had like sanction holes in that bitch and, and it drowned him. But I used to watch Simons and my cousin Jesse, you know what I'm saying? Free Jesse, you know what I'm saying? He locked up right now. R.I.P. Thomas. They used to be freestyling this shit. And, you know, I just wanted to impress them, you feel what I'm saying? And like I'm probably around seven, I used to just freestyle and shit. But I first, you know, I first got on track with these dudes from Oakdale, man. It was a white boy named Jason, and another little dude named Earl Williams, and they recorded me like when I was going to Helen Cox. So that was like the first time. That probably I might, 
I maybe was like 11, 12, something like that. But I've been in the game, like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, they see me come from jail, and they like, you know what I'm saying? They probably think, oh, man, he just started rapping. But I've been rapping, man. I've been doing this shit for a long time, though. I, I haven't even, you know, added up the years I've been rapping. But, you know, this this my feel. This is what I'm going to do, man. And um, for all this, I'm going to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Outside of that, like, I'm going to have these package deals coming, you know what I'm saying? Where I, if you need your intellectual property done, meaning your service mark, uh, logos, trademark, you know, you need to get placements, shit like that. Y'all holler at me, I'm the guy to go to, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have a package deal for y'all develop, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go follow that motherfucking, you know, Instagram, Loyal Mott underscore on IG, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have a package for y'all. Y'all fuck with me. Tell me why these niggas in their feeling. And I'm just trying to make it like you. I'm just trying to make it like you. Tell me why these niggas in they feeling. Tell me why these niggas in they feeling. When I'm just trying to make it like you. 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 Heartfelt. This verse possessed the curse to bring you where they burp me at. Harvey, the hardest hood. Sky's down, the hardest set. Crack spots, crack kids, dope fiends, the hardest set. Set rules, no school, the block was bringing Fetty back. Took a note, not to tell. On the veil, I never read. Stash the burners in the chair. Mommy set the table at. Cops come and search the crib. Couldn't find a murder gap. Nigga be the murder rap. Block life, stay scrap. My life, no escape. Razor in the glass plate. Chopping up the last eight. Don't know when I last ate. The devil puts the side fate. The kind of shit that God hate, the type of shit you pray about A rock between a hard place, the struggle has its own place I'm living in this living room, staring out the window panes Trying to see us all through, reality is but a dream The dream is what we call true Calling for your calling, that is calling, that will call you A million stories in a tear, the pain gotta cry too Never tell a story, that's the story, it's the whole truth And I'm just trying to make it like you Tell me why these niggas and they feeling Tell me why these niggas in they feeling And I'm just trying to make it like you I'm just trying to make it like you